Hello my friends. Welcome back to Raleigh Art Studio and Art with Miss Little. I missed you. Um, next Sunday, May the 10th, is Mother's Day. And um, I'm going to show you how to make a very special card for your mother for Mother's Day. But before I do that, Let's take some nice deep breaths, kind of some meditative breaths. Um, Mother's Day starts with an M. So think of an I am statement that says, I am marvelous. I am magical. I am magnificent. Uh, think of your wonderful word. Sit up nice and tall. Take in an I am statement that's positive, that starts with the letter M. I'm going to breathe in. I am marvelous. I like that. So, nice and tall. I am marvelous. Breathe it in. Hold it. And release it. I am. Breathe it in. Hold it. And release it. One last time, I am marvelous. Take it in, hold it, and release it. Before I show you how to make a Mother's Day card, I have a story to tell you. Um, I am getting old, but for every year I've been here, I have made my mom a Mother's Day card. Never bought her anything. Because Mother's Day was started a long time ago. It hadn't always been around. Um, it was started to allow us one special day a year to take the time to do something special for our moms. From the heart, not from the store. Uh, and it's actually, I'm going to take you way, way, way back. Mother's Day started in 1914. And before Mother's Day started, in the year 1905. Yeah, that was a long time ago. My grandmother was 15 years old then. And she went looking for a job and met a lady named Anna Jarvis, who when she met my grandmother, Madeline Jones, she said, Miss Jones, you're gonna come work for me and we're gonna do something mighty special. We're gonna start Mother's Day. So my grandmother went to work with Anna Jarvis, and they were in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And every Sunday, for nine years, they would sit on the street corners with these big metal tubs filled with flowers. They were carnation flowers, and some were white and some were red. And they would stop the people passing by, and they would say, is your mother living? And if the person said yes, they would give them a red carnation and say, do us a favor and go home right now and write your mom a letter. Tell her how much you appreciate her, even if she lives in your own home. And they would give a white carnation to people that didn't have a mom anymore. So carnations are kind of the symbol flower for Mother's Day. So my grandmother worked with Anna Jarvis for nine years and wrote lots of letters to Congress and the President. And finally, in 1914, President Woodrow Wilson said, Ladies, you are right. We need to honor our mothers. But it wasn't meant to be like a go out and buy yourself a mom present for Mother's Day. It was more take the time from your heart and really tell her how much you appreciate. Don't use somebody else's written words. Make your own. So we're going to make our own written words and make a card. Here's an example. It says, Happy Mother's Day. And these are some carnations. There's a white one and a red one and a pink one. So I'm going to show you how to make a card with carnations on it. Here's a piece of paper first. I want to show you something. This is so cool. This is a newspaper article from 1975 about my grandmother and how she started Mother's Day with Anna Jarvis. My grandmother was such a special person. Here's a card I made that I colored with watercolor paints. So you can get out your watercolor paints and paint your own. This one I did with colored pencils and marker. 
I'm going to take a regular piece of paper and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half hamburger style. If I folded it this way, that would be hot dog. I'm going to fold it this way, it's hamburger. And I'm going to take it and try to make the edges nice and clean and straight. Then crease it right there. I'm going to put some tape on the back of mine so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to tape it right up here. And I am going to start with a pencil, but then I'm going to go to marker so you can see exactly what I'm doing because sometimes pencils are hard for you to see. I, if I were you, I would use a pencil and draw real light till you know it's right. Okay. Um, we're going to start with the shape of a cone. You know what an ice cream cone looks like, right? Well, we're going to draw a cone, but it's not going to be pointed at the end. It's going to be round. So watch what I do. I'm going to draw a curved line here. I'm going to pull it down and down. Instead of making it pointy, I'm just going to round it up. Let's do another one here. Let's do one here. Curve, line down, line down, and curve it. So that's the only thing I'm going to show you with my pencil, because now I'm going to go to my marker so you can see what I do. I want you to use a pencil, and then you can always add color later with a marker or crayons or paints or colored pencils. So we're going to start right here at this curved line. And what I'm going to do is draw the curved line, but then I'm going to add some little teeny leaves that come up. Teeny tiny leaves. See that? I'm going to do it one more time. I'm going to take it up and I'm going to draw a little leaf here, a little leaf here, and a little leaf here. Now I'm going to take a red marker because this is going to be a red carnation. And this is the fun part. I'm going to take my red marker. You're going to use a pencil at first. And I'm going to do a big curved line out here and here. Now carnations have lots of little petals in them and they're kind of zigzaggy on the edges and all different sizes. So I'm going to do some zigzag and pull it in. Do a little zigzag and pull it in. Now I'll make this one a little bit shorter. I can make this ziggy a little bit longer. See what I'm doing? And then each time I, I'm going to add another layer of that but it's going to get a little smaller. So I'm going to do the same thing again but it's not going to go out as far. And then I'm going to do it again, and it's kind of coming in to a point, like that. Did you do it? Let's do one over here. We're going to make the round, pull out some squiggly leaves, do some more squiggly leaves. And then I'm going to get my color, and we're going to pull a line out like this, and a line out like that. And then we're going to zig it up and back down. Zig it up and back down. Let's do another one. We do another one. These are real organic, natural shapes, like flowers. So we're going to do another layer. You can do another layer here. And then we're going to go into the last one. So they're kind of round at the top. Now I'm going to draw some stems and some leaves. Now I'm going to draw a line down like this. We'll add a leaf. Let's draw a line up. And go around it and back around it, and then come back down again. The stem's a shape, not just a line, so we're going to add another line to it, so we can make that a shape. Let's give this one a stem. See how easy it is to draw flowers? You could add more if you want to and make them all different colors. 
I am going to take my eraser and erase the top part of that cone. We don't need that anymore. And now I'm going to show you where a lot of fun begins. You can color yours with crayons if you want to. I'm going to get a red crayon and I'm going to color this one red. Red kind of makes me happy. I'm going to do this one red too because red's one of the colors of the carnations they used to pass out in Philadelphia in the early 1900s to get Mother's Day started. Then I'm going to find a green. And let's color the leaves and the stem. That's pretty. I think my mom's going to love this one. Then across it, you can say Happy Mother's Day like I have here. Happy Mother's. Make sure you put a little apostrophe in there. Day with an exclamation point. And here's the magical part about making a card for your mom. When you open it up, you have all this space in here. So I want you to think with your brain and a happy heart and think, oh my goodness, what are some of the things my mom does for me that nobody else can do? And thank her for it. And tell her how much you love her. Give it to her on Sunday for Mother's Day. So, there's some cards for you with some carnations. I hope y'all have a wonderful Mother's Day on Sunday. I miss you. I love you. And we'll meet again soon. Bye.